Hello everyone, welcome back to my top-down shooter tutorial. In current video we will add weapon reloading to our game. First let's open Mixema and download an animation for reloading. Unfortunately I couldn't find a specific animation for pistols, so we will use the same animation for the boss, the pistol and rifle. After you downloaded the animation, import it into your project. Next open the imported animation, remove frames from 0 to 5 and then remove all frames from 86. On 80s frame add a notify and name it on reloaded. Next open BPI weapon. Add two functions on reloaded. And get ammo state. For get ammo state, add a boolean output named is magazine empty. After that, open BP gun. Add a variable called magazine ammo of type integer and set its default value to 10. Now implement on reloaded. In this function, set magazine ammo to 10. and then call unlock attack to allow the weapon to fire again. Next in the attack event, before spawning the bullet, decrease the magazine armor by 1. And before the delay, Check if there any magazine ammo left. Finally implement get ammo state. Convert magazine ammo to boolean and use not boolean node. And set the result to is magazine empty. Next we need to update the character. First open BPI character anim and add a new function called toggle reload. With an input named is reloading of type boolean. Next open the input folder and add a new input action called IR reload. Add this action to the input mapping context and assign R as a key. Now open BPI character and add a new function called onReloaded. After that open BP character and implement onReloaded inside the combat graph. Create a new variable called isReloading of type boolean and place it into the weapon category. Inside the onReloaded event, set is rewarding to false. Then call onReloaded function of the current weapon. And also call unlock attack processing to unlock ability to attack after rewarding. Next create a custom event called start reward. Inside this event, set is rewarding to true and call toggle reward from the animation blueprint. 
passing through as a parameter. Then implement the reload input actions start pin by calling start reload. Now inside process attack. Next inside process attack. Before checking is aim pose. Add a condition to check if the current weapons magazine is empty. If it's true, call start reward. If it's false, let the function proceed as it worked before. But update the condition for attacking. The character can attack when his aim pose is true and his rewarding is false. We are finished with the character class, so next let's update the animation blueprint. Start by opening the event graph. First implement the toggle reward function and promote the is rewarding input to a variable. Next add an anim notify event for on reloaded. In this event set is rewarding to false. And then call on rewarded of the character. Now it's time to work on the animation graph. In the animation graph, get is rewarding and use not node to create an alpha value. When we converted boolean to float, true will become 1 and false will become 0. This will disable the left hand attaching to the weapon, where the character is rewarding it. Now open the state machine. Add a new state called rewarding. For this state, I suggest copying the description of animation state, but without the rotation. Also, don't forget the replace animation with the reward animation. From the rewarding state, we will return to default. When is rewarding is false. The transitions to the rewarding state will come from default and aiming. When is rewarding is true. For the transition from aiming to reloading, add an event called on aim disabled, similar to the transition from aiming to default. Now let's test the solution. The animation isn't perfect, but it works as expected. Thank you for your attention and see you soon!